In this video, I'll show you how I made my very own metal wolverine claws. I started by sketching up the claws using SolidWorks, printed out some templates to see if the scale was right, and got to work. I had the claws water jet cut from a DXF file, and then prepared them for machining. We made a jig to hold the claw while one side is machined, but to do the other side, we had to make a custom nest jig to cradle the claw as it is being machined. We used aluminum for this because it's cheap and easy to machine. Once the jig was complete, we could machine two claw halves at a time in a single program. I then sanded and grinded them smooth and attached the handle, using wood to space the claws apart. I hired my welder buddy with a case of beer and he finished them up using a TIG welder. Amazing quality. He had to try them out. Once welded, I took them to an electroplating business and had them nickel plated for about $100. This gives them a mirror finish that is rock solid. I also laser engraved my own custom dog tags to go with them. Took a few pictures, then I had to try them out. Okay, three. We gotta do this. All three. And I'll be like, ah! And then I'll be like, ah! Alright. Right. I'm ready. Ready? Ready. Ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> After posting pictures of them online, I had a few photographers contact me to commission the claws for a few photo shoots. Here are some of the photos. Sadly, I didn't have time to grow out the mutton chops in time for them. I also tried some fun stunt photos using a motorcycle. Here's how I did it. Finally, I also made a plaque for one of the claws to hang on the wall. Hope you enjoyed the video. Here are some bloopers from testing out the claws. Ready? Ready. Go. Fuck. <laughs> I'll stay closer. <laughs> Damn it! No. <laughs> that was my fault. Oh. <laughs> Those things are so great. <laughs>